Yo ho, good day and welcome to a fresh dawn in Tanamura, the city of our inspirational city skylines build. So for chapter three or episode three, we are going to first take some time to thank our new subscribers and welcome them to the channel. Thank you guys. It, um, I'm happy you're, you're following it and I hope to make some uh, more progress on my recording um, habits as we progress through this series. So today we are going to fill this nice beach with a park. It will be a nature reserve park because I think the assets suits, uh, suit the beach theme the best so there's that for today and as you can see we have a lot of industrial demand so i think i think today is a good day to be starting our forestry industry and yeah i don't think we have a lot of resource here yet but with forestry that tends to not really matter because if you plant trees under your um, under your tree plantations they will pick those tree up, trees up as a resource and yeah it will be nice and productive so now we have quite a bit of nice daylight i think i am going to pause the camera for a little turn off the day and night cycle so we have daylight for the entire episode and I'll be back to you in a few seconds so to start out this forestry area we will first have to draw out a district so we will use the paint industry area this brush seems seems fine for for doing it don't really need a smaller or larger one for it so let's just draw it in like this it will be rather large but quite thin I do think I want to build another piece of the neighborhood between it and the arterial road that currently borders the town so yeah let's let's do it uh, up until here seems about fine for now so I had some feedback on the audio quality of my uh, stream I am sorry for its poor quality I hope to have improved it for this episode and I will try to find a way to make further improvements in the future but for now we will have to deal with it as it is so I'm going to start out by drawing out a road for 15 squares and drawing it back in by 20 and this road will be the road where we situate our forestry main building after providing water for it which as usual goes under the road where it belongs so here are the industries and this one is the forest industry here is our main building so let's put it down without further ado and now we have unlocked the sawmill the small tree plantation and a small log yard so a few smaller assets to start out with nothing big or special uh, I think we can work with it for now to make something something profitable it does connect with the power grid perfect perfect so I want to I think I want to start with a dirt road but for now because you know in a forest you will mostly get dirt roads for the trucks to drive down and I'm going to start it out from 
yeah, from here. And I will draw it out by by quite a lengthy amount because over here we don't have a lot of resources so this will probably be the area for the more productive buildings for the buildings that uh, use the wood instead of supply the wood and I will put down if my budget lets me no it won't Okay, so the small log yard is 5k. I think I still have a loan available to me, so I will use that. Give me the money. Yep. And I will build the small log yard nonetheless. So this is going to store the logs that we cut, uh, the trees that we cut down and then gonna it's going to transport them to whatever facility currently requires those trees for production and or it's going to export them that's also a possibility so i think for now i am going to use two small tree plantations near the end of this road and they don't need power they do need water so let's supply them some water for our trees And now people will start finding jobs here. They will start cutting down those trees. They will transport them to our log yard. And for now it it will export those logs. I uh, I, I could build the sawmill, sawmill as well. So I think I'm going to extend the district for now. And... I am going to use an industry road. Let's see what the terrain is like first. Oh, it's horrible. Uh, so maybe, maybe I should only f add to this area or fix things here later because I'm not really that rich right now. And I could temporarily place my sawmill over here I guess it would work I don't really like it but I will revisit this area in a later episode to well make it slightly more attractive even though it will never actually be really pretty I see I don't have enough money for the sawmill yet so that'll have to wait it But we seem to have enough money to start out our park area right here. So I'm thinking I should start out by drawing out a district again. So paint park area for this time. And let's make sure the entire beach is inside this park. So, if any of you wants to th think of, has a thought about what the name of this beach should be, uh, let me know in the comments. And if I find something I like in there, I will be sure to use it. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, what should the crossing beach be called because I think just crossing beach would be a bit boring so next we are going to have to place our nature reserve main gate and I will place it next to the high school and it will 
give us a side gate, a bunch of tents, but what I'm really, really happy about is it gives us campfire sites. So these things, I think they fit so well on a beach and, well, actually every beach seems to need them, but first let's give our people some side gates to enter through and then extend a pathway for them to follow across the beach. So I'm thinking here, yeah, here around the, the yew tree I um, started the episode with, and here around the police station, another entrance, yep, yeah, seems about right. So I'm going to use the nature reserve path without decorations for the beach because I don't think you would see a lot of street lights on a beach like this and it, I like to keep the uh, vibe of the area natural. So um, I have decreased my elevation step to the smallest step again and I am going to elevate this path by one step just to, well m maybe two, maybe two, just to give a more gradual slope toward the beach with the path instead of chugging it down the hill and yeah just having a really steep thing for our parks guests to climb down I don't really I wouldn't really like that so we're gonna snake this path around the beach a little and see if we like what we get So I will connect the middle side gate last because it's easiest to just draw out towards the high school for now. And I think this this slope should kind of work for the path. Yep. Yeah, I don't think that's too steep, is it? Nah, it's not that steep. People can walk out. And this one needs a connection too, so I'm thinking up by one and down by one. And let's connect it in here and have our first campfire site right at the end of this path. So this will provide some happiness for our citizens. And in quite a big area because the park is quite big as well, but it's not that well, it doesn't provide as much entertainment yet because it barely has something in it, right? So I'm going to lower the, pro the ticket price to two because uh, it's more like charging money to park for the beach than that you would actually have to pay to enter a beach. I don't think a beach would actually charge you to be allowed to enter and swim. So, an entry price of two it is just for parking, just for parking. And just so I can have some money for the maintenance of this park. I hope the people like it. They probably will. City Skyline citizens tend to really, really love parks. And so do I. So do I. Next, let's decorate this place up a little because, well, let's face it, decoration is about the only thing we can afford around now. So let's, let's just do that. I am thinking Chinese windmill palm, just yeah, lining at least this central path into the beach, like I don't want to completely litter the beach with those, wouldn't be the right vibe for the area, but this seems quite feasible, I mean, a few palms at the beach, who would mind, right? 
Nobody. Absolutely nobody. And I certainly wouldn't either. I can kind of get lost. Find I can kind of find myself getting lost hours and hours in this game. Just you know, making the thing look look kind of realistic and just like it's been like some thought has been put into it. And thus I will have placed a bunch of trees. Oh, the lack of symmetry in this bothers me, so I need one more. Right there. So I'm thinking a nature reserve fence would go along go well along this road because well, it's a, it's it's quite a hill, and you wouldn't want people just being drunk and falling down down it or anything. So a small safety fence. Let's turn off our guidelines and everything, and just draw in a nice simple fence along this entire stretch of road. And then curve it around this corner, and we can actually connect it in. So why not? Why not? And then the other side of the central gate as well. A nice safety border. Let's put on a angle snapping for this because. And it fits, so it sits. Nice long fence along the beach. And this fence could also do with a nice tree line. I'm thinking the palms again, because it's just the beach vibe, right? And while doing this, I see that I have to decorate up the other entrances as well, so... Well, there's a bit of activity for me while we ac accumulate more funds for our bank account so we can build our citizens more, more of the things they want, which currently, unfortunately, seems to be more industry, so I will have to pay for some more forestry buildings, which or at least 4k in my if I'm correct about this and we do not have 4k we do not. and let's put another tree down at the end here so that looks quite a bit better already. The other exit should get some trees as well. Why not do it manually for a change? Doesn't really look that bad either. So now we have a nice long beach, which is still quite empty to look at. And we almost have accrued 5k of money, uh, 4k of money, so maybe maybe we can get our next tree plantation in there, because we seem to need it. Maybe some extra trees for, just for resources. We don't want a low productivity tree plantation, we want it to produce wood for us, and lots of it. So I'm thinking this is probably still not enough to hit the worker limit, nope, nope. 
so I'm not going to be up to be able to upgrade this farmland for quite a while. The park is not going to upgrade for a bit either. Although I could try to place another two of the campfire sites and maybe maybe it will upgrade for us. Although it does need quite a few more of those nice nice citizens entering it. There's currently only 19 of them that I have visited. It's currently called Sunset Park, which seen the west facing direction is actually not that bad a name, but it would be Sunset Beach then. If you have something better still, tell me in the comment section, I will take it into consideration. So, one more campfire site. I think I am going to find us a car to follow into the city. No houses have been built in this episode, I know. It doesn't really bother me, I hope it doesn't bother you, but we just didn't have the residential demand. Uh, yes, yes, let's go and find a car to say goodbye on. So, I have managed to spot Tyler Blackwell going home on the highway. He will take us through a nice bit of scenery. And while we watch that, I want to say goodbye to you all, for this episode at least. I hope to see you all on the next one. Thank you for watching. Thanks to my subscribers again for subscribing. And yeah, I hope I will get the next episode to you pretty soon, although I do not think it will be within a day again because, well, editing is kind of a big chore and I think it will take, it will be better if I take more time for it. So I will do that in the future. The pace of the episodes will be probably three a week at, instead of an episode a day. And yes, I hope you will watch the next episode with me, with me too. And goodbye. See you next time on Tamura.